Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over some of the resources available for you to use in order to get help and learn how to do the things you want to do with your Linux box. We're going to go over the some of the utilities such as man and info. We'll learn more about the readme files that come along with each of your packages that you install, as well as some web-based resources. First, let's talk about some of the web-based resources. We have the Linux documentation project, different vendor help sites, as well as the search engine such as Google. Um, let's go ahead and start off with the Linux documentation project. Let's go to a browser and go to tldp.org. So now the Linux documentation project contains how-to guides, uh, frequently asked questions from other people that have, may have questions that you have as well with the answers already. And they also show some of the uh, individual commands using the man pages. So let's go ahead and let's just take a look at some of the uh, how to guides. Let's click on how to's. We'll do the plain text view. And let's choose uh, auto mount. Click on that. And you'll see a whole text document describing how you can set up the auto mount. Another resource you can use is also the vendor help sites. For instance, we're using CentOS. So they have a page called wiki.centos.org. Now when looking at here, you also have tips and tricks, some more how-to guides, but more specific towards CentOS. So let's just do a how-to, and we'll say how to set up a web server. So let's do setting up an SSL secured web server with CentOS. And you'll see it walks you through exactly how to set up your secure web server. Another useful tool you have is Google. So let's go to google.com. And let's say we wanted to learn how to remove a file. We type, let's say, Linux remove file. So let's click on the first link and you'll see that we have rm-f-r and then it shows you a file name. So here you could read through this and it'll tell you exactly how to delete a file. So rm space abc.txt would remove a file. Now that we've covered the online resources that you can use, let's start talking a little bit more about the utilities that you can use within Linux. Let's go ahead and go to our virtual box and log in. Alright, so the first utility we're going to cover is the man utility. So let's start by opening up a terminal, applications, accessories, terminal. And from here, let's say we wanted to look up how to remove the file, how to remove a file. So I would just do man rm. So in doing this, you'll see that it tells you exactly what the RM command is, as well as giving you a brief description, as well as the available options. Alright, so the man pages are stored in the location defined by your man path or a man.config file. For CentOS, the man path is stored in the, et in the slash etsy etc slash man.config. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we're going to go ahead and go cat, which allows us to view the contents of a file, space, slash, etc, slash, man, dot, config, enter. Now you see that we have everything that we outputted all the contents within that one file. So in here you'll see that our man paths are in our user share folders. Now some distros are different. They do contain your their man pass in the global in the variables, which you could access by using env or set, and that would show you all of your variables. And it would have one variable called man path that would define the path to the man pages for your system. Now, man is considered a reference utility, and it's broken up into nine sections. The first section being programs and shell commands 
which are usable by any user. The second one is the system functions, which are provided by the Linux kernel. The third one are you, the third section is for library functions. The fourth section is for special files found within the slash dev. The fifth one is for the file format, descriptions, and conventions. The sixth section is usually used for games. Section seven is uh, just for miscellaneous conventions. Section eight is the administrative utilities, which are used by the root user. And the last section, section nine, which is usually stored for the kernel routine documentation. So let's go ahead and take a look at the remove command. So man space rm enter. You'll notice that up here we have rm in parentheses 1. That means this is the remove utility rm and it's in section 1. Programs and shell commands used by any user. So this means this command is accessible by any user on the system. So now let's talk about the different sections that we have. We have the title which is the first line of the man page. It lists the name of the utility, the command or the file discussed, as, and displays the section number of where it's located. So here's our first line. The next line is the uh, name, which displays the name of the command, the utility or the file, depending what you're running man on. And it also discusses what the utility is in a short description. The synopsis also uh, describes what the utility command or file is used for, and is, it also gives a brief description. So now we have the description. The description describes how a command or utility or file is used and works in, uh, and works in detail. Now, it provides a list of your options that you are available to use as well. So let's look at the uh, options available for the rm command. We have the dash f which is to force, dash i to automatically prompt us before deleting, uh, dash r for recursive, dash b for verbose, and more. The next section that we have is the author. Now the author displays usually the name of the programmer that created it. So this RM utility was written by Paul Rubin, David McKenzie, Richard Stallman, and Jim Mary. We also have a section for reporting bugs. So this gives you an email usually to, uh, so you can send to the developers in order to report the bugs and have them fix it. The next section, copyright, displays the details about who owns the copyright as well as the dis redistribution information. So this is, this is licensed under the GNU or GPL license. We also have the See Also section, which provides a list of related resources. So we have the CHATTR, SHRED, and a little bit of information about that. And the last line, which is the version number revision date, displays here. So version 5.97 on February 2010, as well as the remove utility and what section it's in. So let's talk a little bit more now about navigating through man. We already know that we can use the down arrow to go down the document. We can also use the up arrow to scroll back up line by line. Um, since I'm using a Mac, I don't have a uh, page down key or a page up key. But if you used your page down key or page up key, you would scroll instead of one line at a time, 14 lines at a time. The spacebar key scrolls up to 26 lines at a time. And then you have your home key that would bring you back to the first line. And the end key that would bring you to the last line. Now to exit the utility, you would just have to type the letter Q. And you would exit the utility. So now let's say we wanted to search through man to find a filter or an option that we could add to our remove utility in order to forcefully remove a file. So we would type man space rm enter. Now to find some now to do a search, you would just type forward slash 
and the term that you're looking for. So let's say I'm looking for force. I would type force, then press enter, and it would highlight where and scroll me down to where in the document the force can be found. Using the end key would scroll through all my all the uh, all the results that it found. So for instance, here's our force dash f. So using rm space dash f space, the file name would forcefully remove and not prompt us to remove the file that we're trying to remove. So let's go ahead and press type Q. Okay, so now let's say we wanted to search through all the man documents. We type man dash K, let's say space remove. We're going to search all the man documents for the keyword remove. Press enter. And you'll see that it brings us a list of utilities that contain the keyword remove. Cut, block, um, remove, RM, RMDIR, and so on. It also displays a short description as well as what section it can be found in. So now let's discuss the info utility. The info utility is considered somewhat of a learning utility. Instead of being broken into pages, they're broken into nodes, which contain usually the same data as man but it's a little more verbose. So let's go ahead, just like man, you would type info instead, space, rm. Now you press enter, and you'll see that, uh, you'll see the more details on how to use the rm utility. Now navigating through the info utility, you would also use the down and up arrows, one line at a time the page down key which scrolls down one node at a time or page the page up key which scrolls up one page at a time and the spacebar key which scrolls down one page at a time as well the deleter backspace key which scrolls up one page at a time the uh, home key which brings you to the top of the page and the end key which brings you to the end of the page so now we could also type the end key which would take us to the next node or the P key which would take us to the previous node so let's go ahead and expand this window so you'll see that if we go ahead and press the N key again the next key we'll discuss the arm utility if the next key you'll see here is the SHRED utility so let's go there or we could go back by pressing the P key to go back again and back again and we could scroll through the different nodes and just like man you can also press the Q key which would quit the utility now searching through man is a little different than the man utility instead of doing the forward slash you do control S and then you would uh, see an I search prompt appear now at the prompt you'd type in your search strings, let's say we we're looking for the keyword force, and you would see it bring you down to the, search, the result that it found. So let's go ahead and press Q, escape Q, to close out the search prompt and exit the utility. The last thing I want to discuss are the readme files that get installed usually with each package that you install to your Linux box. So first, like we discussed earlier, you can find the path to the man files either with your env function or set function, or if you're using CentOS, it would be in your slash etc slash man dot config file. So let's go ahead and go to the path, uh, cd slash usr share doc. So cd change directory allows me to go into that directory, press enter ls this will list out all the contents of the directory and let's say I wanted to know I wanted to read up on the which function so let's go ahead and type cd which tab if you type tab it'll autocomplete for you so you can just type like whi tab and it'll autocomplete the rest of the folder name and then let's press enter, let's do ls to list the contents 
So you'll see we have a few files, authors, examples, news, and readme. So let's go ahead and type cat to view the contents of a file, space, the file name, enter. And you'll see that it's just a document on how to use the witch utility. So this will wrap my getting help section of the course. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and stay tuned for the next video.